Hey guys, what's going on? This is Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. Daryl Addison, TorpedoPot.com. And we've uh, got a lot of peppers on this planter. And uh, I want to promote this growth so I'm going to come back and I'm going to harvest some peppers just to continually promote it. Um, the whole concept of nutrition is not to wait to get to the high caspian level. Uh, with the peppers, you can eat the leaves, eat the peppers themselves, and you should be able to eat the pepper throughout its life cycle. So if you want nutrition, use that as your basis of growth. Don't follow farmers um, who've been taught that you have to wait till the end. You have a growing solution that grows peppers for you around the clock, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. So I'm going to harvest these right now, and uh, I'm really just trying to harvest the big ones without damaging the small ones. So this is gonna be a little trick here. Just want to harvest the big one. I see right now, it must be growing about, I don't know, maybe about 70, 80 peppers on this one planter. This one planter, I expect to achieve about, maybe about 120, well, Hungarian, maybe about 120, yeah, maybe about 120 to 150 peppers off this one planter. By the way, these are self-growing planters. All I did was I put my seeds in, all these planters you see behind me, and I literally just walked away. They're designed to grow your food for you and grow it better than you, you can. They grow it organically, so you don't have to worry about adding chemicals and all this stuff to your planters to get them to grow. You don't have to turn the ground over. All the tools that you have in your shed right now, they are useless because these self-growing planters will yield more per unit area than you could ever imagine. And that's why self-growing planters are really the way to grow to the future. Like I said, already I know that there's about 100 plants of peppers on this particular planter, and I know they should do very well. So I'm gonna turn it around. And again, I only want the major ones. Uh, I promised some peppers to some of my friends, and I wanna be able to, uh, to give them a little bit of peppers so that they will have. And so I'll do that. And I use it in my meals also. So as you can see, this has got so many peppers on this particular plant. And it is amazing how well they're growing. It's amazing how well they are growing. Amazing. So I'm gonna run through it. I'm gonna pick out a couple of the jalapenos. I have uh, breakfast this morning. And uh, what I do is that I take all of my my uh, herbs, cilantro, parsley, and I put it in a cup with hot water, in a cup of really a, a mug of hot water, shake it up, add my peppers to it, and I get all that nutrition throughout the day. And this is what I put inside my mug for me to eat. And that's why I'm starting this this morning, because every morning um, I will put peppers in my mug um, so I can drink and get my nutrition. And I don't have to worry about going to the store getting a sugar-based drink. I don't have to worry about developing a shake at work. I'm getting nutrition directly in my body. Rather you do your kale, um, when we do our mints like stevia, we take our stevia, we take our mints, or we take um, any of our uh, uh, herbs that we would put in there, and we would mix them all together inside of a, a cup, mix them all together, and uh, all of the nutrition goes in our body throughout the day. So I just fill my cup over and over again, and it just draws the nutrition out of these uh, peppers into my drink. So I only need a couple, but I do want to pick the big ones. So let me move this down a little bit more so you can see. I think these are, as you can see, look, look at the growth in that. Isn't that amazing? Man, that, that, that is amazing, that, that growth. And the amount of peppers you get out of there is just, it's stunning. So let's take a step back. And the same thing for the, uh, for the jalapenos. They look absolutely beautiful. But I want to pick some, uh, it's more of these Hungarians. Now this Hungarian looks like, it looks like to be extremely, extremely productive. So I wanna, as you can see, there's so many peppers on this thing. And so I wanna get them early, so I'm gonna start picking them off. So I can promote more growth. I want more growth, okay? I'm just gonna pick a couple of this morning, and these are the uh, cayenne to get me started in the morning time. My kinds are here. Now, all of these peppers that you see that we've uh, harvested so far are perfect peppers. There's not one blemish on any of these peppers because they're grown in a torpedo pot. Torpedo pot grows your food perfectly like you've never seen before. And it is beautiful. You don't see any bugs eating on them. You'll see any of that stuff. A lot of the fertilizers you're, you're using compromises 
the health of your plant compromises the health of your body. It doesn't provide nutrition. At the same time, it allows insects to eat and tear these things up, fungus to grow, bacteria to grow. When you grow naturally and organically in a torpedo pot, you don't have to worry about those things. That's why we're able to grow hundreds of peppers in a small space. That's beautiful. And that one plant will generate, I don't know, maybe about 10 peppers. Now, with that being said, you, uh, let me see if I can turn this back around again. Let's see what, again, I only want the big ones, okay? I'm not interested in any of the small ones. I only want the big ones. When you grow your food, like we have the Hungarian peppers here, I want you to learn that these self-growing planters that grow your food with no human involvement, all you do is drop your seeds in, and that's what these are, seeds. We just literally just poured our seed in a pepper plant, followed the instructions that I shared on the website, and you get perfect peppers all the time, and you get hundreds of peppers all the time. So literally, I don't have to worry about trying to harvest all at one time. The reason why I'm coming out is because, remember now, when you take your peppers off of your self-growing planter, and you promote that growth. When you take your peppers off and promote the plant to focus on areas of the plant that are developing also, what you do, you do a great job because you're constantly eating from your agriculture. You're not going to get it at one time just because you wait to the end of the season. It says a higher Caspian level and it's hotter and things like that. Oh, that is great, but you've been misled. You don't eat in that way. You eat for nutrition. I want you to learn to eat for nutrition when you get plants growing from your self-growing planter, allow yourself to have nutrition throughout the year. Let it permeate your body and develop you and to grow you. And that's what you want to do. So right now, I have my peppers. I have jalapeno, hibernero, cayenne peppers, and I'm going to get a lot of peppers, an awful lot of peppers. And guess what? All of these peppers will be perfect with no problem, no blemishes, no nothing perfect peppers. No matter where I pick, they're going to be a perfect paper. I know that's not true for those who are doing a lot of the gardens. There's a lot of deficiencies inside of your garden. And one of the reasons why is that these containerized systems isolate your plants from the war that takes place in the ground from all the microbes. These systems allow your plants to grow and achieve like you've never seen before. So really, I'm going to carry this, and this will be my nutrition this morning, um, when I go to my place where I have to build your planters for you and I'm going to put this inside my drink and I'm going to drink it throughout the day and it's going to be fabulous and I'm going to enjoy it. Darrell Addison, torpedopot.com. I know there's a lot more that we can actually pick from but I'm not going to do it yet. As you can see these young ones here are ready to go. Uh, we already picked about 50 peppers. Um, I gave, I aim to have literally have about a thousand peppers from all of these planters and that's what we're going to do. We're going to do about a thousand peppers from all of these planters that you see right here. And guess what? It's going to take place. It's going to happen. Why? Because we do it every year. The reason why I'm doing these videos is to show you what you can do. There is no such thing as a food shortage. Food is abundant. It's the systems that we have in place that don't utilize self-growing planters that grow your food for you that what they do is that they, they it's, it's really, they take the food and they, put it into certain areas where you don't have access to it. What has this been established in nature around you? You have access to it 24 hours a day. Use the abundance of the sun, the rain, the light, and all of the supplements that nature has to offer so that you can grow your plants the way you want to. Darren Addison, torpedopot.com. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.